Throughout time, humans have divided the world into neat categories, biology, chemistry, physics, mathematics. But nature tells a different story. As we've discovered in our journey, life operates in magnificent harmony, transcending our artificial boundaries. Today, we stand at a turning point in human understanding. The boundaries between disciplines are dissolving, revealing a deeper truth that nature has known all along. Everything is connected. MIT School of Science, we're witnessing a fundamental shift in how we understand the natural world. It's not just about breaking down barriers between disciplines, it's about recognizing that these barriers were human constructs all along. Think back to our first revelation. How a single dewdrop embodies principles of physics, chemistry, and biology simultaneously. This wasn't an exception, it was our first glimpse into nature's integrated reality. Harvard Integrated Science. The most exciting breakthroughs now happen at the intersections of traditional fields. Nature has always operated this way. We're just catching up to her wisdom. Remember the mathematical patterns we discovered. The same spirals appearing in galaxies and seashells. The same networks forming in fungal threads and neural pathways. These weren't coincidences. They were signposts pointing toward a deeper unity. Stanford Woods Institute. When we see the same patterns repeating across different scales and systems, we're glimpsing nature's fundamental principles. These aren't just similarities, they're expressions of underlying truth. Consider how information flows through living systems, from quantum processes and photosynthesis to the global migrations of animals. Nature doesn't recognize our division between biology and information theory, it seamlessly integrates them all. MIT System Design and Management the way nature processes information challenges our traditional categories. A forest isn't just a biological system, it's also a communication network, a chemical laboratory, and a physical infrastructure. Recall nature's problem-solving genius. How every adaptation represents a solution that transcends our academic boundaries. A spider's web isn't just biology, it's applied physics, materials science, and structural engineering combined. Harvard Program on Science, Technology and Society. Nature solutions are inherently interdisciplinary. When we try to categorize them, we often miss the elegant wholeness of the solution. Now, imagine a new way of organizing our understanding, not by artificial academic boundaries, but by nature's own principles. Instead of separating knowledge into distinct fields, we could organize it by patterns, processes, and principles that cross all scales and systems. Stanford Change Leadership for Sustainability. This isn't just about reorganizing knowledge, it's about fundamentally changing how we approach problems. Nature shows us that the most effective solutions often transcend traditional categories. What if, instead of studying chemistry separate from biology, we study transformation processes at all scales? What if, instead of dividing physics from engineering, we explored energy flows across all systems? MIT Environmental Solutions. By reorganizing our knowledge to mirror nature's integrated approach, we might find solutions to challenges that have eluded us within our traditional frameworks. This new taxonomy isn't just academic, it's practical. When we understand how nature integrates different processes, we can design better solutions to our own challenges. Harvard Evidence for Policy Design. Nature's integrated approach offers a model for addressing complex modern challenges, from climate change to sustainable development. These issues don't fit neatly into single categories, consider the implications for education. Instead of teaching subjects in isolation, we could explore themes that cross all disciplines, patterns, relationships, flows, adaptations. This mirrors how nature actually works. Stanford Data Science. The future of education might look more like nature's own learning system, integrated, experiential, and fundamentally interconnected. This new understanding is already transforming how we approach innovation. Instead of developing solutions within single disciplines, we're learning to think like nature, holistically, adaptively, across boundaries. MIT Data, Systems, and Society the most innovative solutions often come from understanding how nature integrates different processes and principles across scales and systems. 
As we face unprecedented global challenges, this integrated understanding becomes crucial. Climate change, ecosystem collapse, resource depletion. These aren't just environmental problems or economic problems or social problems. They're all interconnected, just as nature has been showing us all along. Harvard Center for the Environment. Nature's integrated approach offers a model for addressing complex challenges. The solutions we need will come from understanding these interconnections. Looking forward, this new taxonomy offers hope. By understanding how nature integrates different processes, we can design better solutions to our own challenges. By learning from nature's wisdom, we can create a more sustainable and resilient future. Stanford Institute for Human-Centered Artificial Intelligence, the future of human innovation lies in understanding and applying nature's integrated principles. We're not just learning about nature, we're learning from nature. As our journey concludes, remember this. Every leaf, every creature, every natural process holds lessons that transcend our artificial categories. Nature's wisdom isn't divided into subjects, it's unified, integrated, whole. We stand at the threshold of a new understanding, one that recognizes the profound unity underlying all natural phenomena. This isn't the end of our journey, it's just the beginning of a new way of seeing, thinking, and creating. Perhaps our greatest challenge isn't in mastering individual disciplines, but in rediscovering the unity that nature has demonstrated all along. In this integration lies our hope for the future, a future where human knowledge mirrors the seamless wisdom of the natural world. The question isn't whether we'll transcend our artificial boundaries, but how quickly we'll learn to see the world as nature does, as one magnificent, interconnected whole. The future belongs to those who can think like nature, across boundaries, across scales, across time. Remember, in nature's great book of wisdom, there are no separate chapters, only one continuous story of connection, adaptation, and renewal. Our task now is to learn to read this story with new eyes, and to write our own future in harmony with nature's integrated truth.